Python bitwise operators. These are one of the types of operators we have in Python programming language. Bitwise operators are used to compare binary. Bitwise operator works on bits and performs bit by bit operation. So let's see how this works in code. So the first thing first is let's assign some variables. So I will start with x is equal to 6. But we will not just be using the number 6. We would also be using the binary part of it. So the binary of 6 is 00000110. I'm going to show you how to get this. The binary of y, because we want to assign 12 to y. So the binary of 12 is... 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Then let's add a third variable called z. Let's just make this 0. And this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So just to avoid issues, let's, let me show you how to get the binary of these different numbers. So the first one, binary of 6, you can visit this site called math is fun binary decimal as a decimal converter so if i put in six here you can see that's the binary so i will just copy that i use it to replace what i have here you see i'm still correct the next one is 12. then we copy everything here and paste it and the last one is zero so we copy everything for zero and we paste it here. Now, back to our slide. The first binary or bitwise operator we have is called bitwise and. We have the next one bitwise or. We have bitwise not or complementary that change the bits. We have bitwise, we have bitwise complementary or okay I'm um, sorry exclusive or bitwise exclusive or bitwise shift right and bitwise shift left so we are going to see how these guys work right now the first one we will deal with is bitwise and so back to our program if we say z is equal to x and 12 okay so let's print out the value print z and what we have here is 4 okay we have 4 so what is the binary of 4 4 is equal to in binary let's go back to our but before we go back there i'm going to do it i'm going to do the solution okay so when you have bitwise oh sorry bitwise y not 12 sorry so y is 12 actually so we still have four good now when you are dealing with or with and sorry you compare each of the bits so the first bit we have here at the end is 0, 0. So both of them are false, so we have 0. 1 and 0. 1 and 0 is still 0 because one of them is not true. We have 0, so it's still 0. 1 and 1 is 1. That is true. Then we have 0 and 1, which is still 0 because that is false. Then we have 0, 0, 0. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, so let's do it again. Zero and zero is zero. One and zero is zero. One and one is one. Zero and one is zero. When you are dealing with and, okay. So let's see the value of four if it is correct. So let's check for four here. And as you can see, four is zero, zero. zero. Let's copy it. And let's compare it to the one I did myself. Let me put another equal to. 
and as you can see it's the same thing so it's pretty simple if you can just look at it and understand it easily okay now the next one we want to try out is x and x or y so let's say a z is equal to z the symbol for or is this and y and what would that be let's go so checking it again for or if two of the values are false it is false if one of them is true it is true so let's print z first Okay, so let me just remove Z from here so that we only have one variable Z. And it is 12. Now let's get that in binary. To get this in binary, we go again. 0 and 0 is going to be 0. 1 or 0 is 1 because one, one of them is true. 1 and 1 is 1. 0 and 1 is 1 is one because one of them is true then we can complement it with our remaining zero the five zeros here sorry four zeros so we have zero 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 that's one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay so we have 8, this should be 8 too. Yes. So x or y is equal to 12. So what is 12 in binary it should be equal to this. So let's check it out. Twelve. You can see correct. The one I did and the one we checked online. Oh, there's an issue. Z or zero zero one or zero. Oh, sorry, it's one. One or zero it should be one. Twelve. Okay. Oh, sorry, not Z. X x or y yeah good that's 14 not 12 14 so if we check the binary for 14 good that's correct now you see it's similar to what we have so next let's proceed the next one we have is bitwise not okay so bitwise not is just the complementary of what you have so now that we have x is equal to so if i say print print bitwise x that is the complementary of x that is going to give us what if we comment this out it means we should alternate everything we have here where you have zero you turn it to one so let's start one 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 zero zero one okay so let me just make this guys let me use print for this so print so that we can have them in one place when we print out the results print good so let's check this out let's see what number this is so complementary of x is minus 7 so let's see what minus 7 is when we check it online let's see if it is the same thing with what I have here so minus 7 let's see let's compare i have it already it's equal to 
And as you can see, I got that right. It's still the same thing. It's very easy if you just put your mind to it. The next one is exclusive or. So for exclusive or, it's similar to or, this one, but in a different way. So what are we doing differently? Let's see it. So exclusive or, you're going to use the carrots on my keyboard. It's just above six. So exclusive or is what? Let's print everything out. Exclusive or is 10. And let me show you how to get that. So to get the exclusive or of x and y, we go again. x, 0 and 0, and exclusive or of 0 is 0. 1 and 0 is 1. But when you have 1 and 1, it's not exclusive because they are both true. So we will make that 0. Then 0 and 1 is 1. Then we have... 0, 0, 0, 0, because 0 to 0, 0 to 0, 0 to 0, 0 to 0. So let's see if it's the same thing with what we have online. Remember, our answer here is 10. So let's convert it to so 10. And as you can see, I see that I'm correct again. So if we put that back, you see that the values are the same. The next one we have, or the next two, is shift right and shift left so let's do that at the same time so to shift you shift by a number of values so let's shift x by two okay so we say x shift right by two places okay we want to shift x by two places so x is what? 6. So if we shift it by two places, what do we have? We have 1. So I'll comment the answer there, 1. Then I will also convert it before we check it online. So s, shift right. So when you want to shift this x right, remember what we have here. Since this is s currently, to shift it by two bits to the right, you start by adding characters to the left. So let me copy it here and drop it here. So since it is shift right, we will add two zeros by the left. Zero, zero. And delete what we have here. Now let's check it online. So let's check for one online. And as you can see, it's similar to what I have here, 0001. The next one is shift left. So let's shift, let's do this for y. So y shift left by two places. Save this, clear. And we have 48 as our response, 48. And let me do that before we check it. So when you are shifting left, for y to shift left, you had the two zeros to the right. Okay, so we had two zeros here. Then we delete two zeros from here. Now let's check forty-eight online. And let's see if it is similar to what we have here. So equal to, and as you can see, it is similar. So guys. Why you may not find a lot of use for bitwise operators, bitwise operators are important if you're dealing with binary. So this is it on Python bitwise operators. We'll see you in the next video.